What's going on guys, JPS back with another video, and today we're going to be reacting to a Belgian ambulance in Paris. This is uh, with a French police escort, this is the ride POV for this. So in this video we're dealing with a children's hospital situation, so possibly making the sick circumstances even more dire as a result of that. Um, I read in the description that this ambulance went from Brussels to Paris, and I looked that up, that's over 350 kilometers and you know four hour plus drive so that's there's a lot I'm sure there's gonna be a lot that goes into this I don't know if they're gonna time lapse it or just showing us a segment of the journey anyways it's gonna be interesting to see not only how the public reacts to an ambulance but how the these different police forces are able to operate with each other or emergency response forces rather you know the French police and a Belgian ambulance that's pretty cool that's the thing about Europe. The countries are so close together, so this is not like something that happens rarely. Like, I remember reacting to a video. I believe it was a, a Dutch ambulance. You know, it went into Germany for a bit. Uh, so this should be interesting. I'm excited to get into it. Hit the like button, guys. Hit subscribe, and let's get it. Oh. Another thing to keep in mind, I don't know why I forgot this. We're in Paris. Like, that's, it's hard to navigate any city, but Paris, it's gonna be a lot of people. Oh my god. I gotta say, the motorcycle escorts help so much. Like, get the traffic out of the way before the ambulance even gets there. But that, was a clo that wasn't even a close call yet, and I was already wincing. Exactly, like what are you doing? This red car, what are you doing? So, but people are, yeah, everyone's paying attention pretty well so far. <laughs> Man. One thing I wanted to say is you can tell that the guy riding the motorcycle, like, you can tell that he really cares. That's not even his country's ambulance, but treating it as if it was. Like, you can just tell. That's amazing. That's just that human connection. Like, it doesn't matter.
Wow. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. So a lot of the logistical details and information of that I'm not too aware of because it was left out of the video, but we're definitely in Paris right now. So most of the journey has already been covered up until this point, if they did indeed come from Brussels. Uh, I saw a comment wondering like why they didn't take a helicopter. And I think someone said that they had to pay if they're uninsured, it's really expensive to take a helicopter. And then, you know, people from other countries, of course, chiming in like, well, our helicopters are covered by our health insurance and by charitable donations, blah, blah, blah. So it's hard to tell, like, why it was necessary to go from Brussels to Paris to this specific hospital. I'm not saying like it wasn't necessary. I'm just I don't know the full details of what's going on, but we're in Paris now. And these these guys on the motorcycle are just going crazy like they're they're making this possible right now and motorcycle escort for an ambulance is something i've never seen in the united states like that i don't know if that's a european thing or what it is but i've i've literally never i didn't even hear about that like i didn't even know that was possible oh my god oh oh Come on. Go, go, go. Oh my. But anyways, yeah, following up on my previous comment, like I had never heard of uh, motorcycle dri drivers escorting an ambulance. Another thing to comment on, this ambulance driver is excellent. Like all ambulance drivers are e excellent and deserve utmost respect because they're so nimble in those vehicles and you literally have a patient, someone who could potentially be dying in the vehicle too. Like, there's so much pressure driving the ambulance. I, I could never do that. So it's very impressive to watch this.
A lot of Mercedes in Paris. I can see from the headlights. I've never been to Paris, too, and I really have not seen much of it, so I, this is like my f first glimpse, honestly. I feel like we're almost there. This is crazy though, like roundabouts and going through the opposite side of traffic and like not just Paris, but most of Europe is already, it's very tight navigating through. I think I saw a video of someone parking in Paris and it was like their, their bumpers literally were touching and that's just normal apparently. So an ambulance, it's not an easy job. Not an easy job to get through all this. Wow. And I can see when the ambulance slows down that that's when it's a really tight, tight little space to fit through. I get, that tenses me up. <laughs>
Wow. Like overall also, I feel like all the motorists have been responding very quickly to the police's commands and that has helped make it seamless. You know when they're at a red light <clears throat> and it's two way tra or two lanes, it's very hard for the ambulance to fit through. I get that. But on the on the street like the motorists are or the people driving are responding instantly to the police uh, officer's commands. And we're here, I think. Nice to hear some French, of course. I think they're, are they inside of the hospital now? It looks like it, yeah. Hopefully the patient was okay. Wow, that was a really good video. So someone in the ambulance sp speaks French. Maybe the driver, I don't know. But that was crazy, like just going through Paris like that. I thought I was watching like Mario Kart or something, the way they were driving. But they got through safely. You know, there were a couple close calls, but I never felt like the ambulance driver was out of control or made any erratic movements and a lot of that was thanks to the french police escort that was incredible just to see the amount of care they put into that and um i believe i watched a dutch police escort for an ambulance and it was equally impressive like just so well organized and a lot of that has to do with the public's response to being aware uh, on an American road, a lot of drivers are very unaware of what's going on around them. So when an ambulance comes behind them, they're very slow to get to the side or allow the ambulance through because, you know, people are on their phones or in their own world. And uh, that's a shame. So anyways, really good video. <clears throat> I enjoyed watching this. Hopefully the patient made it out all right. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.